Exotic agrimizid flies are notorious agricultural pests that have travelled across the world and now sit at Australia's doorstep. They include the vegetable leaf miner, potato leaf miner and American serpentine leaf miner. Potato leaf miner and American serpentine leaf miner are as close as Indonesia, while vegetable leaf miner has already established on our most northern shore of Cape York Peninsula. This is a concern because exotic leaf miners can have a dramatic impact on plant health. Eggs are laid just beneath the leaf or stem surface and hatch about three days later. Once hatched, larvae tunnel inside the leaf, creating silvery, spiralling tracks. These leaf mines damage photosynthetic tissue, restricting plant growth. Exotic leaf miners are polyphagous, which means that most horticultural crops are on the menu. They will eat most vegetables and even some ornamental flowering plants that you can pick up at your local nursery. The leaf miner diet may also extend to other crops that are not currently listed as a host. So, what does all of this mean and what's at stake? Australian horticulture is currently valued at $14.4 billion. When we find a new pest in Australia, the economic damage to production industries can be substantial. Farmers can experience trade bans, production losses and quarantine. Fresh produce may not reach store shelves and the cost will increase. Home gardens can also be impacted. Everybody loses. So what have we done about it? Several industries including the vegetables, nursery, melons and potatoes, together with the research and development corporation Hort Innovation, launched a research and development program for control, eradication and preparedness for vegetable leaf miner. This project is all about being prepared and it brought together research groups, governments and industry bodies. Project partners identified which parts of Australia are at highest economic risk of each leaf miner species based on crops, climate and the ability of these flies to spread. They created guidelines for effective surveillance and created new DNA-based tests to rapidly identify these exotic flies. And they found that Australia is already full of the same tiny beneficial wasps that are so important for controlling leaf miner pests overseas. As long as we make careful chemical choices, these little wasps will do most of the work protecting our crops. Chemical permits are also being developed, ensuring that industries are well prepared for exotic leaf miner incursions when they happen. By becoming acquainted with these exotic pests now, we can slow their spread and ensure we manage these pests correctly from the start. Australia is renowned for producing high quality fresh produce. To keep it that way, we need to stay vigilant. All Australians have a biosecurity responsibility. Suspect detections should be reported to the Exotic Plant Pest Hotline on 1800 084 881. Project partners have developed practical guides to help industry prepare for and manage exotic leaf miners. To access these guides, visit the Ausveg website at www.ausveg.com.au forward slash mt16004 or email info at ausveg.com.au. This project is a collaboration between CESA, the University of Melbourne, Plant Health Australia, the Department of Agriculture, Water and the Environment's Northern Australia Quarantine Strategy and Ausveg. Control, Eradication and Preparedness for Vegetable Leaf Miner, MT16004, has been funded by Hort Innovation using the Vegetable, Nursery, Melon and Potato Research and Development levies and contributions from the Australian Government. Hort Innovation is the grower-owned, not-for-profit, research and development corporation for Australian horticulture. <laughs>